which means back in 1960, a dollar, if you had $100 out of that, you could buy 88 grams of gold, not one gram of gold earrings. You could buy 88 grams of gold back in 1960 for the same $100. So when that number goes up, when that 22 trillion number goes up, that number, the purchasing power goes down. That number falls, which is why you see prices rising. It's why the price of a Big Mac is up 12 times since 1968. It's the reason the same darn Campbell's soup is 10 times as expensive since 1973. And it's why everything you buy right now, as measured by the Consumer Price Index, the CPI, is 10 times more expensive than it was in 1960, 10 times more expensive. But you might be thinking, but, but wait, my money, that number goes up too. Don't I get a raise? Hasn't that number gone up as well? And the answer is, yes, it has, but only about half as much as the increase in the things you buy with it. So the average hourly earnings are only up about 6x versus the things you buy are up 10x or 12x. And so what that means is the average person who's bringing a can of Campbell's soup and a Big Mac to lunch can now only afford half a can of Campbell's soup and half a Big Mac for working the exact same number of hours in the day. So why don't we feel wealthier when we have more money? We learned this from Adam Smith and the Wealth of Nations. Wealth does not consist in money, but in what money purchases. And we've known that all the way back at the founding of America with the Wealth of Nations from Adam Smith. So what's going on here? Well, who manages the spreadsheet? At this point, you might be thinking, wait a second, I thought I just had my money and that's all I had to worry about, but somebody is totally monkeying with this spreadsheet because they're making up all this money, this 22 trillion, they're making it all up out of thin air at about 7% a year, which is making my purchasing power go down. So who manages this spreadsheet? Who's in charge of this? Well, banks keep spreadsheets with the green number. My money on the left, your money on the right, you know, read Regions Bank, Trustmark Bank, each bank records who owns what money. And the Federal Reserve makes sure that two people don't own the same money. They keep track of how much money each of the banks has, and then the banks are keeping track of how much money each person has. And it's actually a big spreadsheet. It's technically Microsoft SQL Server, but it basically operates like a really big spreadsheet running on a really big computer that keeps track of the money. So you might be thinking, what about that red number? If we understand who manages my money and your money, what about that red number, which is all the money? How does it change? Who manages? is that dollar number that's making your money lose its value. And the answer is the Federal Reserve Board of Governors, especially this guy, Jerome Powell. They basically can go in there with a mouse, double click on the number and add money. They change the number of how much money is in circulation. And that's basically mouse click money. They make money out of thin air. So that is why that red number has been on a tear going up higher and higher and higher and higher. And if the money supply goes up, easily the purchasing power decreases quickly. 